And so this dude is known to hang out with zombies. He's known to hang out with Better Call Saul people. Rob Zombie, uh, this Friday and Saturday, get ready. He wants to spend some time with you. Huh? Talk in San Diego. How about that? American Comedy Company is where Chris Hardwick is going to hang out. Chris, good morning. By the way, shout out from floor director Megan, who is so excited to see you. Uh, you know, she loves you. Oh, thank you. I, I, Megan, hi, how are you? And hello, Raul. I, no, I first want to apologize that I've been a professional television presenter for a really long time. Yeah. And this is the best lighting setup I could come up with. This look, I'm fighting the beam of light. 20 minutes ago, this was yeah. perfect. This this ring light, this thing we all have, since I, it does nothing. It does nothing. It does nothing. And yeah, you know, there's a stunt going out of my head. I'm so sorry. This is so. This is, this I was going to say, because I heard you. I heard you talking about you had a sconce growing out of the side of your head. You're getting yeah. blasted by the sunlight on the one thing. And you got the nice, uh, you know, the, the, I think my, my house when I was a kid in like 1980 had the nice wooden uh, paneling on the wall. So it's all a good look, my man. Well, this, I, you know, one of the things that, as you may know, like we have a baby, she just turned one. Aww. And the room that we, the very professional looking room that we normally do these from, the baby now is almost walking. So she's kind of like scooting oh. all over the house. And so I was like, well, just so I don't have to like close a door and, you know, so she, you know, so I came out <laughs> to what is normally like a music practice room. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just, it, let's all just admit this is not a good room for doing live television. It just isn't. But look, but that's it's all right. for a good conversation piece. And it's just, I mean, it's pretty good. Listen, by the way, I'm sure you've heard this from everybody, but once the kids start walking, forget it. Life changes for the rest of forever. Oh, well, so right now we're at the stage where we're kind of like those bumpers that you put in gutters in the bowling alley. <laughs> yeah. to, it's just like everything, everywhere she moves, we're just constantly yeah, yeah, like yeah. walking and trying to keep her safe. And so, yeah, so pretty soon it's like any day she's just going to start like, you know, wobbling around. Oh, look at so this picture. Good. Chris, is this right. your first no, kid? I love on. this photo. She's the best. She's the best. She's the best. Is she your first kid? She is. Oh, yeah. how's that feel, big daddy? How's that feel? It felt like I didn't know how it was going to feel. And the yeah. second she was born, it just felt like this was always I, oh, sincerely. I know I'll get emotional. It just felt like it's always meant to be. Oh. It never felt like, oh, my gosh, we have a kid now. Like it always just yeah. felt like we were meant to be yeah, with her. So it's been, if, it it's been incredible. Right. If, it if, does. It feels it, right. Like my daughter's 13, and I feel the same way. Okay, let's talk San Diego. Let's talk. Okay, uh Because okay. the last time you were here, yeah, correct? it's getting emotional on the morning news, and we're supposed to be stop all political it. and talking about comedy. No, you stop it. You stop Don't it. Don't you start? I'll start talking no, emotions. Uh, Comic Con was the last time you were in town, right? You you love San Diego. We know that. And the Walking Dead exhibits at this Comic Con is always so like well, uh, so involved in detail, or and it's just uh, you know nobody can associate Walking Dead without uh, Chris Hardwick. But what was that? That like for you the, the walking dead experience was truly like so cool. one of the most incredible and especially at comic-con because comic-con's where i first saw the trailer for the walking dead those first six episodes oh wow i wasn't working with the show yet and i my, my friend of mine and i just watched on a loop how incredible this new show looked oh yeah there's andy and deny uh -huh. and scott and there's hall h in the background and so to have been a part of this thing yeah which you know has such an incredible the show wouldn't exist without the fans and comic-con is a is just the physical embodiment of that and i had i've had literally the most incredible experiences of my life on hall h in that stage in the convention center uh, even there was one of the shots going to commercial that i think it was on top of the hotel that's outside right. the convention center i'm like i have i have seen that view yep. so many times it's just it's so special to me san diego is really special to me you know especially with comic con so cool i just finally you know somehow i missed the last season of walking dead and then it was on netflix I was like oh my god i cuz the way the last couple of years went it was confusing and i was like where is it and then i finally caught up and finished it so that was kind of a nice uh, little ribbon little bow on my last what decade nice. plus of our lives oh that's really nice yeah they're always there the episodes are always there know. you know when i was growing up if you didn't see something that's you it. may just never see it again because there wasn't a place unless you could you know spend a thousand dollars to buy a library of vhs tape they were weirdly expensive vhs tapes Which, when we were yeah, growing up. i think we all did that at some point so everybody know you know the, the talking dead and the talking saw which also by the way super cool um when they see chris hardwick on stage how does like how do people who are fans of yours doing those shows go see you on stage? Like this? What kind of stuff are you talking about? Is it kind of a similar type of thing or, or what's the vibe? 
I talk about it a little bit, but my, my set's very conversational. So yeah. I do have bits that I work on, but I talk to the audience a lot because that's just more fun for me. I just like engaging with people. And actually four years ago this month, I brought a guitar on stage for the first time at the American Comedy Company. And I was like, listen, I've wanted to turn some bits into songs. I can't really play guitar. So you kind of just paid to watch a dude learn guitar on stage. And, uh, and they were very cool with it. And since then, you know, I've been doing, I've gotten better. Uh, I've been doing like weaving songs into the set. So it's been, it's been great. You know, I have songs about our cats, uh, songs about baby, the baby, songs about, you <laughs> songs know. Songs about the baby, I love that. Yeah, just, so, yeah, just all sorts of like anything that I could kind of, uh, you know, just add to a beat and play some chords and, I'm, you know. I'm, so, I'm super fun. jealous that apparently this whole Rob Zombie thing, because, you know, I, I love White Zombie, I love Rob Zombie. I saw nice. them perform on Halloween night, 1995, yeah, old. So what's your deal with Rob Zombie? Are you guys buddies? Are you guys hanging out? What's the deal? Yeah, okay, so I used to work at MTV. I hosted a show called Singled Out in the yeah, yeah, 1900s. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, it, it, so in the, at, it's funny you mentioned 1995 and then at the 1995 Video Music Awards, I was doing like from the audience stuff for MTV and I interviewed White Zombie and Rob and I hit it off like that. Rob's this huge film nerd, just a really great dude. And we became friends. Oh, and lucky. Then, like, you know, like, uh, like five years later, six years later, Rob was like, hey, I'm going to direct a horror movie and I wrote a, wrote a part for you and that was House of a Thousand Corpses. And so oh, we've wow. been friends for literally almost 30 years. Rob's probably one of my oldest friends in, you know, uh, and he's just, he's great. He's a great dude. And, you know, I've gotten to do some really fun stuff. Actually, one of the first times I think I came to San Diego Comic-Con was for House of a Thousand Corpses and I think like 2001, maybe 2002. I can't remember if I came before or that in the 90s but but yeah so you know rob is great and rob also has a connection to comic-con and yeah. san diego so. he, he's such a good guy he's so artistic he's a great director and the music and you know the great american nightmare that song that start it's like basically the theme song for howard stern so that's like the biggest hit song oh, for, yeah. for you know fans yeah, of the show howard yeah i know yeah, people will run up to me on the street because of a house of a thousand corpses yeah. and do this one line that i get from the book, dr satan <laughs> and they'll just scream <laughs> and i love it because if you know that movie, you have excellent taste in film. So I, I, I'm very yes, excited. Okay, we need to have a talking something now. What's the show? Like talking Ted Lasso. Talking, talking, talking. <laughs> talking, uh, talking Lasso, talking, talking Ted, La talking. Uh, oh, we'll think, we'll, we'll brainstorm when you're in San All right. Uh, All right. Chris, what a pleasure. Hey, when you come, hey, man, when you come down here, come hang out with us in the studio. Okay, we'll let you go. I would love to. I don't want to I would absolutely at. love to. Yeah, are the producers <laughs> yelling to, to, do you have to go? Okay, we'll see you, Chris. Good chatting. The hey, Raul, thanks. Bye. The sun looks great, by the way. The sconce. Sorry about the lighting. That's okay. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Yo. Okay, uh, Friday and Saturday shows at 7.30 and 9.30. American Comedy Company by Chris. We'll be right back. <laughs>